Hello and welcome back to the building of the Falcon, a Ben Buckle vintage aircraft kit uh, which I started about a week ago um, by building the horizontal tail surface and this is it as you can see it's a little bit of a beast it's three foot uh, span um, it's not actually finished yet but it's about 90% of the way there um, I was um, today I'm going to push on and do the fin so that the whole tail surface can be done I've been distracted a little actually recently um, as we all tend to be actually I've started back on doing a little bit of model railway and this is a, a model that I've made of uh, my local pub and that's going to go on to a layout that I've been fiddling with for a couple of years now and um, building local buildings uh, from the area and adding them to uh, a model railway so anyway put that to one side I'll get in a little bit closer and we look at how I'm going to actually tackle the fin area okay so I've turned this round so you can see it a little bit more clearly it's actually a very lightweight structure and the parts supplied in the kit differ slightly from the plan uh, as, you, as you'll see so there are only a small number of parts this um, is F9 which is actually the the part of the fin which attaches to the tail surface this is F10 which goes here then we have F13 and then there's a piece of wood here which I'm assuming makes F8 it's just as you can see it's very rudimentary in terms of finishing in fact none of the notching for the um, structure has been done in the fin air ribs and that will have to be done carefully we're only talking about three in total not counting this one so that's not a major deal um, but I will have to do it carefully it's also um, I've seen this modeled by other people and I'm assuming it's variations in the kit design I've seen quite a variation in how it's actually been tackled the plan although it's not very really clear calls for this front section to be sheeted in 16th balsa with no provision to um, how it should be finished or how it should stop and what I propose to do is to sheet this front area and curve it round so that it actually mirrors this effect on the tail I think that'll look rather nice um, so but that's a little bit further down the line this is the dowel that I mentioned in the last video that actually locks in place the fin onto the tail surface um, these outer shapes are actually made up slightly differently so F9 is one piece Whereas on the drawing it's shown as a smaller piece connected to another, this F5. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the shape's correct and then glue these pieces so it's one unit. And then once I've done that, I'll actually tackle cutting these out accurately so that the whole thing can go together nice and neatly. So I'll pause it there. And I'll come back to you when I've got these parts glued together. Well, whenever I'm tackling any modelling job, I have to force myself to do the part I'm dreading most first. And I find if I do that, it gets you of that hump of resistance that stops progress. So in this case, in this particular section, making the fin, this was the area that I was putting off somewhat and that is the F9 part which had to be shaped to match the aerofoil of the fin of the horizontal stabiliser so I've whittled away at that and took my time and I've ensured that it's square in this plane and that's important because this is the the part that's going to hold 
the fin at right angles to the tail surface. So I've spent a bit of time doing that. I had to put a piece in here to take it round the front of the aerofoil on the fin. And you'll notice the hole's been drilled through here accurately, taking it um, 0.1 of a mil below the 6 mil of the dowel. And if I push this through now, it's a nice fit. And that is also being checked for squareness. And then that the hole was used to mark through and at locate the block which is buried in here. And if I push it on now, we have a nice neat, I think that's about how much will protrude through underneath. And that's going to help lock the tail in position with the fin. And also when it comes to mounting the, the tail feathers onto the fuselage, this dowel is going to sit inside the tube and then there are two uh, nuts buried in there that the bolts will come through to lock the whole thing. It'll be a three-way fixing. The dowel and the two bolts, I hope, will hold everything nice and square and solid. So now I've shaped this part, F9, it's time to put the notches into this as well actually for the stringers that go, the spars that go either side and these are just roughly cut to shape and these need to be accurately done and that's going to be the next thing that I do. So I've now spent a bit of time making sure that the notches have been marked on and cut out carefully for the ribs for the fin and the front notch for the leading edge. Um, there are only two here plus the, the one I showed previously, the bottom one, and I've pinned down what I can onto the board. This is in glued in place and the bottom spar has been glued to this um, rib, the main substantial rib that attaches the fin to the horizontal tail surface. So what I'm going to do now is carefully slide these into position but not glue them and then I'm going to use the CA glue with uh, one of these fine nozzles which is really handy and I'm going to line them up to ensure that everything is in position and then spot glue them and I'm then going to go over each joint and add some white glue because I'm, I'm always a little bit suspicious that the CA glue could be brittle over time. So I'm happy that this one here, F10, is in position. So being happy with it, I'll add a touch of CA glue. That's okay. And I'll add a touch at the rear end of the rib. That's in position. Let's do the same for this one now. So that's fine. It's in position there. Add some glue. And of course, this is the huge advantage of CA that it's an instant hit. And one doesn't have to wait and worry about is it going to move over time? And the joint would then be less than secure. This one's fine here. And a touch of super glue there. Now, now it's a case of lining up this leading edge and getting it into position. And I've marked on, carefully marked on the halfway position. of the trailing edge and the leading edge here there we go that position there I'm happy with that I'll add a touch of C here of course it's only gluing on one side here but that's fine because I'm going as I said I'm going to add some white glue and this is just going to hold it where I want it to be. And 
this last one to go. There you go, happy with that. So there was a slight variation. This front leading edge on the plan, this is shown actually cut into this bottom rib. However, as supplied in the kit, it's not long enough. So that's a weak point, and I'm intending to put in here, in this area here, a triangular wedge and of course this whole area will be covered with 16th and it's also once this top spar is added on there is reinforcement on both sides to make um, an H girder which are extremely strong I've used them in other modeling applications so the next thing to do is to get this top spar on into position Take that pin out now. Hopefully this will line up fine. There you go. And that fits in and it glues down there nicely. So I'll mark that off. Leaving a little bit of excess to trim. Glue that on. Apply some PVA glue then leave it for an hour or so and then do the webbing in between on this front spar. So if I cut that. Some CA glue added. Added. Let's go. There we go. And that to me looks to be a very strong structure for not a lot of weight. I've seen uh, fins and tails built far more robustly than, than this, um, which I think is probably unnecessary weight. And weight towards the tail end of a plane in most instances is something that you just don't want. So there we go. That's the main part of the the fin done and the dowel can be added in there and glued in place once the uh, extra 16th webbing has been added both sides of the spot. So, so far so good. And so to the rudder. So I've managed on this rear piece I've actually left it full thickness because I want as much strength as possible. I've managed to actually cut in here to make a rebate for these parts. Although uh, at first I thought I was going to have to butt joint them, which is never a strong feature. So these are, are packed into position. This is glued. These need to be glued. And once again, I'll spot glue them with super glue. I've marked the centre line of this spar that the hinges go into so that I can line up the trailing edge of the rudder. So here we go. I'll start off with the top piece I think. So line it up. I can actually slot it into that little space there. Make sure these ribs are in the correct position which they are. Happy with that one there. I'm going to spot it just to hold everything nice and square. Glue's blocked up. Occasionally you have to just nip the end off. It's the easiest way to do it. Bit of super glue there. Let's see. I'm not happy with that. See if I can manage to do this without gluing myself to the workbench and the piece. There you go. Central line of that one, happy with that. Get that glued on. Yep, that's all good, up to now. 
here we'll grow this rib here Let's glue the trailing edge on first happy with that it's square spot that glue this happy with all of that up to now so the lower portion to do losing the saw centre line marked and I think I'll also reinforce this lower edge when it comes to doing the final finish There we have it. That's the rudder glued into position. And some packing to go in here. I think I'll actually add a piece of reinforcement there. Quite happy with that. Two together. Can't put it down because of the pins. There we go. Obviously it needs to be sheeted and that'll be the final task to do having put the 16th webbing to make this front, these front spars uh, an H girder, which is extremely strong, and then the delta glue in place. So, there we have it. Progress for today, I think. I'll leave it at that. Next time I'll come back, I'll have sheeted the front end, and we'll actually jig up the fin to the tail. I am going to glue them together before the cover. I often leave that to last. But I think that on this occasion, I'm just going to um, glue the, the, the rudder, fin and horizontal tail surface together before I actually cover it. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that little process and I'll give you the next update probably in a week or so's time. Bye for now.